If he's alive, Robert Levinson is the longest held American hostage in history. The former FBI agent disappeared seven years ago in Iran. Now his wife is revealing new details about his work that she hopes will bring him home. She sat down with our Bob Orr. Bob, good morning. Good morning, Clarissa and Charlie. Well, Christine Levinson has now confirmed that her husband, Bob, was working in part, at least, for the CIA. She hopes that admission will help the U.S. and Iran now speak more freely and find a way to win Bob Levinson's release. He was working as a, a consultant for the CIA. Um, he was also a private investigator. He was able to do both at the same time in his travels. The confirmation comes as Christine Levinson is planning a second trip to Iran. She will try to make her case with a personal plea to Iran's president at a time when relations between the U.S. and Iran have improved. If President Rouhani um, could find Bob and send him home to his family, he could make a wonderful uh, humanitarian gesture. But the U.S. government still has not admitted that Levinson ever worked directly for U.S. intelligence. The family's attorney, David McGee, says it's time to come clean and make a deal. If the U.S. would come full face and say, yes, he worked for the CIA, that might be enough of a show of good faith that the Iranians would respond? That's our hope. Levinson, who retired after working more than 30 years for the DEA and FBI, disappeared in 2007. In 2010, these documents purporting to detail his arrest in Iran were anonymously emailed to Christine Levinson. She later received these pictures and this videotape. I have been held here for three and a half years. I am not in very good health. The video sparked hope he'd soon be released, but there's been no further proof of life. Do you think he's alive? I do believe he's alive. Uh, we have never received any information um, that shows anything else. Intelligence sources agree he's likely still alive. McGee says the Iranians see him as a valuable bargaining chip. We believe the Iranians know the value of what they have. They have trade bait. They have a man they can swap to the United States. His family says until that swap occurs, they won't give up. I love my husband. I believe that wherever he is, he is trying as hard as he can to get back to his family. And somehow you manage to hang on to hope. You don't lose hope. Here. Never lose hope. I know he'll come home safely to us. The White House says Levinson's case is still now a top priority in their ongoing efforts to win his release. Both President Obama and Secretary of State Kerry have personally raised the issue with top Iranian officials. Larissa, Charlie. Just a mystifying story. Bob Orr, thank you.